my grandmother was a seamstress. As a young boy, that was my first introduction to fashion. The neighborhood the church ladies, you know, would come in to have their, you know, their suits <laughs> hemmed and tailored. I've always been interested in how people interpreted uh, what style meant to them. I'm a real kind of um, popular culture freak. I think people are, are a lot more interesting maybe than the intricacies of what <laughs> you might think style actually is. When I graduated, I knew I wasn't going to remain in New York. I knew that there was some, somewhere else I wanted to be. I got co in contact with Bottega Veneta. I met Laura Motedo. We immediately clicked. I met her in, in New York. And about a month later, I was moving to Italy and I was hired as design director. It really was my school, my, my true luxury education. The initial start of Bottega Veneta led me to my first collection because my first collection was actually based on knitwear only and leather goods. So I started with a real idea and I learned after time, many, many years of working with knitwear, you know, what the possibilities are. And maybe it has a lot to do with the American in me as well. There's, some, there's a real comfort factor to, to what knitwear is. I didn't jump in this game for any kind of you know, fame, which is maybe a bit strange to say. You know, I love what I do and um, I'm okay doing it quietly. I'm happy that my collection Sense of Uno 6 is growing in, a, in an interesting way, but it's an honest way. It's an interesting dynamic with the young, young designers and, and, um, and youth uh, I'm finding in this country. I was, I was teaching a postgraduate course and I would ask them naturally, you know, who were your heroes, you know, whether they be artists or designers. And I got Zara, I got Mango, I got, you know, H&M. They weren't curious. You know, everything is so immediate, so you just have to type it in on a computer and it immediately pops up. But things that go further than that, they're not researching. You can't arrive at abstraction without starting with the basic form. You know, maybe there isn't an essential support structure that exists in, in Italy for young designers. The structure of Italy as a country, I think, is really, um, it's quite classic and, and traditional. There's a real sense of a family and um, immediate surroundings. There's not necessarily a real um, sense or strength in society, meaning everyone thinking collectively together. I've ne it's, it's very interesting to me. I've never been in a place where mm, I find so much youth, so many young people who I talk to and they can say, I'm not voting. I have no interest in voting. How can you not have interest in voting? They feel useless. They feel really, you know, they feel they're, they're, there's a, a weak structure that they can't make a difference in. As an American, I mean, that's for me, it's, I've, I'm bred to, to know that, you know, if I want to say something, then, you know, even if I lose in the end, I'm going to say it. I've been here for a long time, and I'm not sure if I would have chosen Milan without the opportunity to move here for work. I, I didn't know much about Milan. And once, actually the first two years that I was working in Italy, I was miserable. I was such a New Yorker, where you're always comparing, you know, what you don't have to what you could be having back in New York. So it was a really kind of a slow process. It's a very gray, you know, kind of urban business city, but there are really, really a lot of hidden riches. It's a fashion city, it's one of the, the, the fashion capitals, and there are a lot of creatives and young things happening here. There are a lot of stylists, there are a lot of um, you know, fashion designers, there are a lot of artists that are really here, budding young talents in, in, in Milan. Um, but it's hard to rise to the surface you know, with that kind of um, pressure of euros flying around. <laughs> it becomes very difficult for you know, a small company to exist in, in, in that madness. But I think you have to work with conviction and then people, people notice it. I keep it honest. I try to keep it honest. <laughs>